Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Tonight's big story, a shocking, disgusting, disturbing case of child abuse in Phoenix. A one month old boy is dead and several other children are now in the state's care. And police say the parents knew their child needed medical treatment, but didn't call for help. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us live from outside Estrella Gel in Phoenix. And Bianca, some of the details in this case are really tough to hear. Yeah, guys, you're absolutely right. And at this hour, that child's death is still under investigation. But court documents reveal one of the other children told police the baby's father threw him on the ground. Court documents painting a grim picture of what life was like for five Valley children. Police say on January 5th, they got a call from the Phoenix Inn near I-17 in Northern. Investigators finding a one-month-old baby dead in the room. Officials interviewing the baby's parents, Donald Roy Ferguson and Emmeline Amelia Ramirez. They tell police the one-month-old boy was having trouble breathing and choking earlier that evening. Instead of calling 911, Police say they went on with their night until later when the boy became unresponsive. Documents say Ferguson went outside to call his employer while Ramirez performed CPR and called for help, but it was too late. After pronouncing the baby dead, first responders then finding a second one-month-old baby having breathing problems. Doctors later finding that child had traumatic head injuries. A 15-month-old also found to have multiple skull fractures. All of the kids, six and younger, found covered in dirt with insects crawling out of their ears. In an interview with police, Ramirez saying the father gets angry and violent. One of the kids telling police their dad through the baby who later died on the ground. Both parents now charged with seven counts of child abuse. Documents indicating these parents have had several prior child abuse reports. And documents say an autopsy on the infant found no signs of deadly traumatic injuries, but more medical tests are ongoing. We'll certainly keep you posted. For now, we're live in Phoenix tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10. Okay, Bianca, thanks.